So here we are in DaVinci Resolve, and what if I need to score this video here with a VST instrument? Let's just say contact. Well, of course, I could export this video from DaVinci, import it into my DAW, and go ahead and score it. But why do that when we have Fairlight built right in? Yes, we're actually going to record a VST instrument right within DaVinci Resolve. So first, let's head over here to fair light and go ahead and set this up first we need to set up our tracks so i'll just right click here in a gray area and click add tracks what we want is two so two tracks i'll put them at the bottom and in our case we want stereo so we'll go ahead and add those tracks let's go ahead and name this one here contact because we're going to use contact and then this one here we're going to name record because we can't actually record midi within DaVinci Resolve here, but we can record the output of instruments onto new tracks. Now let's head up here to our effects library, VST effects, I'll just type in contact, and I'll go ahead and grab it right here from my list, and I'll drop it right on our contact track. Then I'll load up, in this case, we'll say maybe evolve mutations, I'll load something up here, and then I'll expand this, and Go ahead and set up our instruments. Of course, you can do this with a synth, with something like BFD3, whatever, uh, you know, whatever you want. Now I press a key here. And we get sound. That's pretty cool. But it gets even cooler because we can actually use our MIDI keyboard as well. Now, again, we can't actually record MIDI. We can just use it to control the instrument. So up here in the toolbar right here, click this down arrow and whatever MIDI controllers you have connected will show up right here. So I'll just select the omni channel of my keyboard and now I'll press a key on my keyboard and we get sound. Pretty cool, right? So let's go ahead and expand our mixer here a bit. If it's not showing, just show it right up here, okay? So right here is A3, which is our contact track. And you can see the input of that is indeed contact. We can open it again right here if you happen to uh, close it down. Okay, so now we need to go ahead and patch the output of contact into our record track. So let's head up here to Fairlight. This is one way we could do it. We could also just head over here and say input, for example. And what we need to do is head up here to source and come down here to track direct. Select that. Over here under destination, put our down arrow and what we want is track input, okay? Now because we came to our patch input output, through our drop down right here, we already have our destination tracks selected for us. In case you didn't do that, we'll do it the long way, okay? Fairlight, patch input output, right here, under source or drop down, go to track direct, under destination, come down here to track input. What we want to do is take our track direct from our contact track, so select both of those, because it's a stereo track, and under track input, we want to input that into our record track, so, it's record left and record right. In this case, it could be track three and track four, whatever you uh, happen to use. Then click patch right there. And as you can see over here in our mixer, on the input, it is now our contact track, as you can see right there. So let's close down our patch input output. Now, if I press a key on my keyboard, all right, everything is still coming out of, of uh, track three or our contact track. Head over here to our input on track three in this case and press this little down arrow. Come here to path settings and open this up. Under direct output, go ahead and turn that on and leave your pre on as well. Let's go ahead and close this down and now we are all set up. Now this is very important again. Make sure under path settings you have your direct output on, okay? All right, so now we're all set up. So now what we can do is I can press a key again on my keyboard. Nothing yet, but if I record or arm that track, just like in your DAW, now we're getting sound. Of course, it's being doubled, so now we can mute our contact track. I'll hit a key on my keyboard again. There we go. So now we're getting sound, and now we are ready to record. So I can have our contact interface open. I can, of course, record by just pressing keys directly within the interface if I wanted to but we'll just use our MIDI keyboard in this case. So we'll go ahead and again, have this track armed and just press record. And here we go.
Okay, go ahead and stop that and take that off of arm. And right there, you can see our brand new audio file that we recorded from contact from a VST instrument right here in DaVinci Resolve. I can play that back. Immediately you hear it. And of course, like I said, you could use synthesizers, you could use a drum program, you can use whatever you want in here. And we'll come over here to edit. And as you can see over here, let me scroll down on our audio tracks. Right here is the audio track that we just, uh, just recorded. So you can then edit that however you want, either here in the edit page or of course over in Fairlight. Let me turn it down here a bit. I can of course move it around, put it on different tracks, whatever you want to do just like any other audio clip. And we'll just check that out. Cool. All right, so that is how you can use your VST instruments, which is just crazy to be able to do right here in your NLE, right here in your video editor.